In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new AI clip features that have just been added to Descript. Now, for me, I use Opus Clip from a company called Opus Pro at the moment, and I wanted to see whether the Descript implementation is better, the same, or not as good as what Opus Clip currently offer. So today, let's talk about whether I should be using Descript or Opus Clip for my clips. So let's move on and get straight into Descript. So this is a video I've already added to Descript and we can play that through and oh, obviously you can hear it actually down scale. And the main thing that they've added is in their actions tab, which is up here. So if we click on actions and we go to ask AI, I did a video a couple of weeks ago on the summarization social post, blog post, and add chapters or markers features that they added as part of their AI workflows. And they worked quite well. But today we've got find good clips and find when, which are the new features that take this long form script and chop it up into some bite sized short chunks. So let's have a see how it works, how well it works. And then we'll throw the same video into Opus Clip and see what it does. So let's go on to the find good clips piece first. So you'll see that already it comes up with a pre canned prompt and that prompt is going to do the following. Find five options for clips I can pull from this script and each clip should be around a few sentences long. So similar to what other tools will do, this could take some time just through testing. It can be two minutes to five minutes for this particular uh, size of clip. This is a 14 minute clip in total. So let's just hit return and let it work its magic. Once it's finished, we'll come back. All right, it's back. It took around two to three minutes for that particular clip to be processed. So now it's produced five snippets from that long form transcript. As you can see here, these are all listed. Now it's a bit hard to see well, this is for me anyway, for here. So if we click on this, it's now giving us the option to select these five snippets in the script to start over or to close this down. So I'm going to hit the select in script and we've got five script clips here at the bottom. So this is the timeline for each one. And if I click on this, it's going to go straight so here to it is the summary and start playing of what I've just spoken about. It's a very short stream. So this is what Descript is thinking um, would make good short form clips from this long form video. All right, so this is your pre-show checklist for live streaming. Now, so once it's found those, you can do a couple of things. You can edit from here if you wanted to or you can have this drop down menu here. You can copy all this text to a clipboard and paste it into Descript for further editing, or you can take this and duplicate the clips that it's processed and put them into a new composition whereby it will split them all up into separate cuts, into separate segments, and have that as an entirely separate project or composition. So let's just do that. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm going to ask it to duplicate all. So that means just duplicate everything that it's listed here in these five clips into a new composition. And up here at the top in the drop down menu, you will see that you now get the clips from the basic test script that we're just doing. So click on that. And now we have the five clips all split out, which you can then do some further editing on and then export. So here's a couple of things. The difference between this and Opus Clip is that Opus Clip one does everything in vertical format. So it's ready for short form content, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and so on. With this in Descript, you still have to modify the timeline, the aspect ratio of your video and create it in a vertical format. So that's number one. Number two, in Opus Clip, captions are already automatically added to that. Now, 
There are captions available, obviously, in Descript, but they're not automatically added. So you have to go into the menu here at the top, into text, add captions. It's fine. I mean, it works. Obviously, you can add captions straight away and then you can um, modify how they look and feel. But my video is still in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's not in the vertical format. So I'd have to do some finagling with this to get it into the vertical format. Now, you might not want it in the vertical format. You might want it to simply be in the format that it was created. But if it's short form, obviously vertical is king and you want it to be configured in that way. So those are the two sort of main differences, not automatic captioning and not automatically creating it in the vertical video space. Another thing that Opus will do, which I'll show you in a second, is that if you have any demonstrations and screen sharing like we have here, it's in, in Opus it's going to basically keep my face front and center as a speaking you know, party in this particular video and, and really do that automatically and not focus on this part of the clip that wouldn't really be useful if you can't see the person that's speaking. So there's a few things, a few differences that I like um, that Opus Clip has compared to this. So now let's take this same video just for clarity and put it into Opus Clip and we'll just see what that looks like. Let's take a look at Opus Clip and using the same video, let's see what options we get and how it does the processing on that side. So Opus Clip is, well, it's a free service to an extent. You only get a certain amount of minutes, but the script is a pay for service as well. So I've added some credits here, uh, which you'll need to process your videos. Um, it's really simple just to create any link from any YouTube video and create clips from that. These can be other people's videos as well, if you so desire, but obviously I'm going to use my own. Um, this is the same video that we used in Descript. You get a number of options from a, a style perspective in terms of what you want the look and feel to look like, um, with the captions, where they're placed, what emoticons you have, stuff like that. It also has a processing timeline, which is great. If you know where in your clip you want the short to be created from, if there are a number of key points in a video that are um, you know, sequential, you can actually just trim this down, which is a, a great way of saving your number of credits. If you only want to have, you know, minutes uh, three to minute nine, that's where the main points of the video are, that's where you want to create these clips from, then you can do that. Or you can let Opus decide which clips are going to be more meaningful by processing the entire video. You can then change the length of the video. You can make it just under 30 seconds, 30 and 60 and so on, depending on what you want. I leave it on auto because there might be a longer segment that I might want to post something else. I'm not always thinking about YouTube shorts. I'm thinking about other content and social platforms. And then you can do this topic filler by keywords. And that's an optional thing. So if you've got some keywords that you know you want to tease out into those videos for the short form content, you can add them here. But I'm just going to press get the clips and I'll show you what that does. So here's the video in question that's been processed. This typically takes between 12 and 15 minutes, just depending on how busy the service is. So here's the UI within Opus Clip. And this was the same video that we looked at within Descript. What it does here is it provides you with a low res preview and uh, the list of videos that are displayed here are all ranked with regards to the virability of that. So it says a, it always gives you a viral score. So it says things like, um, if I just click on this, viral score is all about the likelihood that the videos go viral based on which service they are. I mean, none of my videos have gone viral, but hey, subject matter and all that. Um, but that doesn't matter. Really, for me, this is a good scoring mechanism to see which it thinks is the best video in terms of content and so on. I then look at the description. It will create this description for you already, which is its title. Um, sorry. And then the description here is what this video is about. Gives you a little summary of the video. And then down here at the bottom is the actual transcript of the clip that it looks at. Um, you can edit this video as well. So you've got some editing options here whereby you can change the captions. You can change the colors. 
You can do a couple of things about the layout and stuff like that. It's entirely up to you. I don't tend to do much about this. I just leave it as is. But if I if it has a word wrong or something like that, if it transcribed a word incorrectly, <coughs> excuse me, then you can go in and change that. A new feature is that you can actually schedule your video. So you can click on the schedule. I've linked mine to YouTube so you can use the description that it's sorry the title that it's created already in AI put your own description in there and then you can schedule uh, to post this or you can publish it directly from Opus you don't have to download put it into YouTube shorts and all that kind of stuff so another great time saver so that's what I love about this software that it's really intuitive it's very um, time sensitive in terms of it saves me a lot of time um, and it gives me a number of different options to play through on these videos and it's it's really cool I like it so let me just play a little bit so we'll crack on with this presentation all right so the, uh, so there's different bits and pieces you can see it goes through there I mean you can pick any of these videos that you want uh, for this and it depends on your subject matter. I would probably so pick this to one. This, uh, you know, it's an introduction to the, cafe. to the video itself. But again, you have to go through these and take a look and see which one works for you. But the, the bottom line is, it's all about saving time. If you are a content creator and you want to get your content created quickly, efficiently, with minimal effort on your side, which is what we're all about here, saving time and working more efficiently, then using a service like Opus Pro and Opus Clips is really, in my opinion, at the moment, a better option than going down the route of messing around with Descript. Now, Descript is obviously um, just starting off with AI tools and workflows, and they're probably playing catch up to a number of these different services. So I'm no doubt in my mind that things will improve and get better over time. But for me, I'm not going to change my workflow right now. Descript is good for certain things and I do use it obviously for transcription and for audio podcasts and for taking snippets. It's it's great but for doing short form content from your long form videos, getting those captions created and being able to just post them directly from the tool then Opus Clip is the one for me. If you are interested in creating content and want to learn more about some of the workflows and things you can look at some of the videos here that I've already created in this playlist so please take a look have a go and I will see you obviously in the next video take it easy